What's up guys, it's someone from the Dream Movies. Another K-series video today, after a long time. You may remember our EM2 K-swap which we did last year. If you watched the fifth episode, you may realize that yeah, the engine didn't run very well in the higher revs, especially in the WeTech. And WeTech is what Honda engines um, are famous for. <laughs> the first thing we checked was the WeTech solenoid. Uh, this is a little valve which engages the WeTech with oil pressure. These valves can clock up over time. I removed the Wittek solenoid on this engine, cleaned it, reinstalled it, but it didn't help. So the next thing I came about was a timing chain. Honda claims that timing chains in KRCS engines are maintenance free, but this isn't true. Over time the chains get stretched. This engine ran about 130,000 kilometers and the chance is very high that the timing chain has already stretched. Another thing you should check if you have problems with your K-series engine is the auto tensioner. So we will open this engine, check the timing chain, the tensioner, the chain guides and all these parts if something needs to be replaced. Okay, we rotated the engine clockwise, that the cylinder 1 is a TDC, we have a mark down there at the crankshaft. And now these two lines here on the camshaft should line up. And you can see it here, there's a difference of about one teeth and that's far too much. Um, I'm very surprised that the engine yeah, ran so good. This chain needs to be removed and replaced with a new one. So here we have the old and the new chain, the old one is at the right side and you can see that the old is already stretched. The difference is about 2 mm, that's very less but in the following part of the video you will see how much impact these 2 mm have on the timing of the engine.
Okay, we reassembled all parts back together, the new chain is on, the tensioner is replaced. Now we check if the timing is still synchronized after we rotated the engine a few times. And now look at this, the marks on the camshaft gears line up perfectly so the timing is synchronized. When we compare this with the timing before we had replaced the chain, you see how much impact these 2mm have on the timing of the wall engine. So I hope you enjoyed the video about how to inspect and replace a timing chain on a K-series engine. If you are interested in more K-series stuff or in K-series engine swap, visit our website kpower.net.